I was floored when I read the difference in terms of investing habits between blacks and in other, other races. Yes, um, there is the gap with the investment gap with African Americans. I am thrilled that it's gotten better over the years. There's still some work to go. I mean, when you read some of the stats, Sharon, 57% invested in the income range of 50 to $100,000 compared to 81%. I mean, it's a big factor when you look huge. at the wealth gap overall. When you look at the wealth gap between African Americans and whites, the average white family has about seven times the wealth of a black family. A lot of that is due to investments, retirement savings, stock market investments, but also home ownership and also, of course, the earnings gap. So one of the key ways, and Lizetta points it out so well in her story, is, uh, closing the gap is to really focus on what you can control, and that is investing in yourself and investing for yourself by investing in the stock market. And, of course, for anybody, Lizetta, I don't care what color you are, it's very daunting to, to start off and think about investing in the stock market. So what do you tell some of your clients who are just getting started? Well, we want to anchor in the idea that retirement accounts are very much in the market. So that gives some familiarity to everyday households. Also want them to be empowered to know that they can also invest in the stock market um, as well with basic apps just to get a taste of maybe stock ownership. Now, we have to be careful um, because if you're just stock picking, you're not getting diversification, and that's another whole story. But what we're trying to balance is, is saying, yes, retirement accounts is where a lot of the exposure to the markets are. Mm -hmm. And then we're also saying, thinking about, you know, small investments um, in stocks as, as well as a way to um, expand your portfolio. What are some of the biggest hurdles you face, Lizetta, when you start working with people? Um, fundamentally, just understanding basic concepts of stocks, bonds, cash, and other asset classes like real estate and commodities. So I'm giving them the baseline saying, if you know about, you know, business ownership, that equates to stock ownership. If you know about lending, you know, being a borrower and a lender, that's bonds. Just keeping it very simple and then building upon what they are familiar with. Mortgages or loans, they are the, you know, the borrower, but in the case of other bonds, they can be the lender, which is a concept that they can easily resonate with as long as, as well as with stocks, too. But when, when it comes mm -hmm. to investing, though, Lizette, and I think you'd agree, you know, a lot of people need to start with what they know and they have access to right now. And for many people, that is an employer-sponsored retirement savings plan. But for African Americans, more so than whites, that's not the case. They don't have access to a 401k. So they're investing on their own in the stock market through a 401k or in many cases through an IRA and they have to be encouraged to do that to increase contributions to not get emotional when the stock market is at its highs or at its lows and to continue investing because that's also a long-term investment option not something for emergency savings and taking that money out for a hardship taking that money out because you switch jobs that's something that as African-American community, we do that more than the white community, and that is also going to keep us lagging in terms of wealth. Yes, yeah, so the long-term play. Um, we understand the long-term play with home ownership. We need to understand the long-term play when it comes to investments in the stock market. And those are separate buckets from what you're saying, that cushion account, right? So when you have money in your savings, you can tap it, and you, it is not subject to market ups and downs. That's why the long play is so important to be understood when it comes to investing. You need five years, 10 years, and even longer as we're thinking about letting that money grow.